We have to take away our thoughts, our wandering mind, our monkey mind, repeating and playing the same scenes again and again. It's the only way. You can take all the energy healing you want, but if we don't help ourselves by doing our daily homework to keep our mind clean, we are not going to heal and we are going to keep attracting these toxic energies and pain. Today I had a very interesting conversation with a client and I will try to reproduce it because it's very educational. She already received three distance healing sessions. She has an emotional trauma that is processing. And in each session, she has a lot of release of toxic energies. In the last session, after the last session, she told me I felt my arms and legs very heavy and it was very difficult to open my eyes. This is a typical case when you release a lot of toxic energies that heaviness is out of you and you feel that. After that, you feel better and you feel the benefits and the lightness in your body. However, after almost a week, she sends me an email and she says, Carlos, I am depressed and I have anxiety again. So I told her to communicate and we had this conversation over Skype. The first thing that I asked her is, do you find yourself thinking, overthinking on that situation and bringing back to your memories, to your body. She said, yes, I am thinking that he cheated on me. How long ago did it happen? Six months ago. And she said, I was thinking about that for the last three or four days. So what happens when we rethink and we play again that drama, that painful situation in our brains? Our brain doesn't recognize if our memories are real, are happening right now, or it's, or it's just memories, and the pain comes back. We can have all the Reiki energy healing sessions that we want. We can remove all these toxic energies, but by bringing the painful memories, we are bringing these toxic energies again. And I explained to her that this is like having a thorn in our finger or any part of our bodies. And we put some antibiotics and the pain will go away for a while. However, as long as the thorn is inside of our body, the infection will be there, the pain will come back. Once we have removed, we have moved away all these energy blockages that produce so much pain, the memory of our partner cheating on us. Once this toxic energies are removed and you feel better, we cannot go back. And then I told her, whether you are trying to get back to him or not, you need to heal. And after you heal, you have to keep this energy clean. And she said, well, we are back together. In that case, you need to be able to talk to your boyfriend like you are talking to a real friend and be able to express all the pain that you have, all the pain that his actions produce to you. If you love him and you want to, to solve the solution and fix the relationship, not fix, to heal the relationship, you need to be able to talk to him. You look into his eyes and with all the confidence and you ask him, Please, I need help on that. And I gave her an example. About three years ago, a friend of mine told me, Carlos, I feel insecure with my boyfriend. I believe he has a second woman. And why do you say that? Because in another relationship that I had, I believe I was his second woman. So I feel the same now. I said, you know, if he does that, it's his loss because you are a wonderful soul, a wonderful woman. First of all, I need you to know that. Second, you go to him and ask him, Hey, Jimmy, I need your help on this situation. I need you to help me because I don't feel comfortable when you go for your work, you go out and you are away from the home for so many hours. And in six months, I see a post in Facebook he proposed to her in a hiking. She was very happy, 
Six months later, I believe they get married. A year later, they had a child. They are a very happy couple with a beautiful child. So can you see the little difference of being able to talk with honesty with your romantic partner? And that's what I told this woman. And I said, you need to be able to talk with all the confidence of the world. You cannot hold anything inside of you. You have to tell him, I have these feelings, this stress, this anxiety because of what you did. And I, I feel that you can do it again, even though you promised me you were not going to do it again. And I told her, you have to promise me that you are going to be strong and talk to him because you have all the right. You have all the right to be treated in a fair way, to be treated with honesty, with loyalty. And you have all the right to talk with your boyfriend as a friend. If you are in a romantic partnership, you have to be friends above all. And then she understood and she felt much better. After that, we did the distance healing session. So in summary, it's very important that we watch our brain playing and replaying that situation again. Or for example, a man when he cannot get the love of a woman and goes back to thinking what is she doing, going to Facebook and seeing what is she posting on in Instagram and he's going nuts, he's driving himself nuts and with women too, in the same situation. If the relationship is broken and you cannot fix it, it cannot be healed or it's not convenient to heal, you have to let him go, you have to let her go and heal with love but take the pain away. How do you take the pain away in a very effective way? Doing energy healing, because that pain is an energy blockage right in the middle of our chest. The work that I do is to find those energy blockages and to remove them. When those energy blockages, those toxic energies are not there anymore, you are free from the pain. Now, if you keep replaying the situation of the past, you are attracting that toxic energy again. We need to be mindful of our thoughts. We need to be aware of what we are thinking and not to go to that route again. Yesterday, I was talking to a friend and she told me whenever I have this pain, I need to shift my attention, my focus right away. This is what we have to do. We have to take away our thoughts, our wandering mind, our monkey mind, repeating and playing the same scenes again and again. It's the only way. You can take all the energy healing you want, but if we don't help ourselves by doing our daily homework to keep our mind clean, we are not going to heal and we are going to keep attracting these toxic energies and pain. This is the fastest way to heal to control our mind and to do this energy work to remove the energy blockages. I hope this is helpful for you and if you have any questions please write them below this video. I would love to answer them all. I see you soon.